yeah, we kind of teased the financial domination kink before we took a break. So tell us about that. Yeah. So anyone that doesn't know, financial domination is a fetish within the BDSM world and particularly normally falls into the female domination fetish where the submissive relinquishes control over their finances. Um, And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. But basically, they get off to either sending you money, sending you gifts, um, spoiling you, but they just get off to relinquishing that financial control to their dom. I know so many people who hear this and go, oh, I want to do that. Like, Mm -hmm. that sounds easy, right? Yeah. And it's not, right? I mean, it's hard to find people that are truly into financial domination where they will actually give you money or that kind of control. Right. Um, A lot of times they just want to talk about it, but not actually Mm -hmm. spend the money. So how, like how many of these kinds of clients have you had and Mm -hmm. how successful have those been? Yeah. So getting into the not easy, it is a very, is very much trending, like I guess all over social media, financial domination. And so a lot of these people don't believe it's sex work. Mm-hmm. which I find funny because it is because mm-hmm. your sub is getting off sexually. But yeah, I've had a lot of clients into it. And so a lot of my financial domination play is online. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of tougher to do it in person. And most of these guys don't even have the guts to see you in person. So they want to do it online. Mm-hmm. Generally, is very rare that you're going to actually just get a submissive that is just going to send you money just to send you money or gifts. Normally, always, you're pairing it with another fetish. Um, like for me, for example, one big fetish that I always pair it with and that a lot of my clientele is into is gooning. So they're in that trance-like state, stroking and stroking and stroking. And so their mind is fuzzy, kind of like melting away. And then that's when the financial domination aspect really kicks in because they're in subspace. And so all they want to do is please you and get off to you. And so then you have them start sending and sending and sending. But I think that's just kind of a misconception with financial domination that you're going to find subs just sending you money out of nowhere without any expectation. Um, It's very, very rare. But yeah, in that case, I've only had a handful that just send and then don't do anything else because at the end of the day, they are getting off to it sexually. So they are, there is an expectation there to have something in return Mm -hmm. from sending you money, Mm -hmm. whether it's small or large. And then do you find that they kind of like, come and go easily. Cause I've had a couple of guys mm-hmm. reach out to me and want to do that, which I remember there was this one guy in particular, I was like arguing with him. I'm like, I am not the right person for this. This is like not what I do. And I was like, I really don't want your money. And he was like, please. And I finally like, I was like, okay, fine. And then, and then he like vanished like yeah. after like two days. Yeah. So that's a common thing in financial domination is that they do vanish, they run away. And so one thing about it is whenever you get the submissives that are in that headspace and want to participate is you just have to drain them hard and drain them quick because 95, if not higher, percent of them will vanish. Some you'll never hear from again. Generally, they'll come back like once every few months, but like it's just a common thing. Mm. A lot of doms have talked about it and experienced it. And I have seen it time and time again with my submissives. It's to a point now where my bigger clients like will have a really big drain or month um, of draining. And so then they'll disappear. Like they think that they want to get better. And they probably stop. need to make their money back. <laughs> and they want to make their money back. <laughs> and so like then they'll reappear like two yeah. or three months later. And they're like, I just couldn't resist it. Like this turns me on so much. And like yeah. they can, it's this really nasty cycle that they get into because they're so addicted to it. But then like after a big drain happens or maybe they come, like this clarity starts to sink in and they're like, 
yeah, I've got to, I've got to get out of this or else I'm going to be ruined forever. So it's just this nasty cycle that most of these fin subs are in Mm -hmm. and it's just a common thing. (laughs) Oh my God. 